Now let's move along to uh, this documentary by Matt Walsh, Making Waves Again Online, a year after it was first released. It asks the question, what is a woman? Take a look. What is a woman? Can you tell me that? <laughs> well, you're at the Women's March. You must have some idea. Please, if, if one person could tell me what a woman is. You are not here for women. We ask you to leave. What is that? A woman is not anything in particular. There is not one particular thing. It could be many things to many people. Some women have penises, right? Some men have vaginas. I like scented candles. And I've watched Sex and the City. Yeah. How do I know if, if I'm a woman? That's a great question. You're not a scientist. You're not a gender studies major. No. How do you know that you're a man? I guess because I got a d can a man become a woman? <laughs> I'm not a woman, so I, I can't really answer that. Women only know what women are. Are you a uh, cat? No. Can you tell me what a cat is? Do you want to tell us what a woman is? Now, Twitter first restricted the uh, launch of this one-year celebration before Elon Musk personally promoted it on his own uh, account and uh, the Streisand effect took over. The video has got more than 160 million views in very quick time. Uh, Kosha, I interviewed Matt Walsh when that documentary first came out. Our full chat has more than 4 million views on YouTube alone. Uh, watch it if you haven't already. And I would say, Kosha, every politician should be watching this full documentary. There is so much that you learn here because he gives all sides an opportunity to put their case forward. And so many who are in this uh, transgender movement who are advocating for children to receive these irreversible treatments, their, their uh, explanations are just bizarre sometimes, disturbing other times, even sinister. There, there just seems to be this reckless lack of care about allowing confused young kids to undergo treatments that they can never reverse. You know, double mastectomies, having bottom surgery, as they call it, becoming sterile. It's, it really is an eye-opener. It really is, and because of the acceleration in that movement and that activation that's happening, Matt Walsh comes out with this documentary. He looks like he had a lot of fun making it, too, yeah. I would say that. It's also funny. Uh, it is funny, <laughs> uh, and, he, and he does it very well, and the numbers that you stated there at the top are undeniable. Mm. 160, I think last I checked, it's ticking up to 170, 75 million wow. views. Just to put that in context, if you think of other big event television that's come out recently, the Oprah interview with Meghan and Harry was at 50 million. Yeah. Um, I think Jurassic Park, when it came out, had about 170 million yeah. tickets sold. So this is like, lots of people are watching it, clearly, hundreds of millions. They, there is demand, some would even say thirst, for this mm. kind of content out there to counter, you know, what they see being pushed all the time for that all reason the time. all the time and for that reason as you say politicians should watch it if nothing else just to understand where the public demand and is and put their finger on the pulse with that and uh, it's quite it's quite remarkable also the distribution piece of it mm. both direct to consumer on daily wire and then amplified by twitter now allows this kind of stuff to get out there and that's uh, important in this battle it just shows you the extraordinary demand for this sort of content and if hollywood wasn't so captured by the far left then they would actually produce content that the audience want. I mean, there's a profit to be made there, never mind the artistic endeavour, because, yeah, we just do see one side pumped out, whether it's a fiction or a documentary like that. And, and to have this uh, product out there, you can see the impact straight away. Now, the Babylon Bee is, uh, responded with their own documentary. Uh, theirs is called What is a Man? It's quite a short one. What is a man? So what is a man? Uh, wh what is a man? Well, uh, a man, I, I, it's got the XY chromosome. Uh, he's got, he, he's got uh, testicles and um, a, a penis. All right, I think we got it, it's a wrap. And then after that, there's just 99 minutes of credits rolling. That was pretty much the whole documentary. So when you see it come up, you're like, wow, they've made a 99-minute documentary. This will be interesting. And, yeah, <laughs> it's that plus, yeah, about 98 minutes of uh, credits. So uh, well done, the Babylon Bee.